In this video, we will see how to use long multiplication to multiply two three-digit numbers together, such as here where we have 423 multiplied by 254. The first step is to write the sum out. Each digit in its appropriate column. So we have 3 and 4 in the ones column, 2 and 5 in the tens column, 4 and 2 in the hundreds column. Now from here, there will be three separate multiplications we do that will produce three separate results below, one on top of the other. The first multiplication will be 4 multiplied by the whole top number. 423. The second multiplication will be 5 in the tens column, so it will be 50 multiplied by, again the whole top number, 423. And the third multiplication we use the 2, which is 200, so it will be 200 multiplied by 423. So let's proceed with the first multiplication. 4 times 3 gives 12, so it's 2 below, 1 carried over. 4 times 2 is 8, plus the 1 is 9. And 4 multiplied by 4 gives us 16. Now before doing the next multiplication, there could also be some carrying over of digits there, so it's helpful to erase any digits carried in the first multiplication, just to avoid getting them mixed up possibly. Now for the second multiplication, as we've said, it's 50 multiplied by the top number, so before doing the multiplication of 5 multiplied by 4, 2, 3, place a 0 one's column to reflect that this is actually 50 multiplying 423. So 5 times 3 gives us 15. 5 there, 1 carried over. 5 times 2 gives us 10, plus the digit carried gives us 11, carried over. And then 5 times 4 gives us 20, plus the 1. It's 21. Before doing our final multiplication, we'll again erase the digits carried. Now for the third multiplication, before we multiply, we again do similar to what we did with the 50, only now it's 200. So to account for that, two zeros placed in a third row first. Now, 2 multiplied by 3 gives us 6, 2 multiplied by 2 gives us 4, and 2 multiplied by 4 gives us 8. So now that we have our three multiplication results, we can use them give us the answer to the whole multiplication sum. What we do is add the three results together. On the right column here we only have 2. Here 9 and 5 gives us 14. So 4 goes here, 1 is carried. 6 and 6 and 1 is 13 plus the 1 also gives us 14. 1 carried. 4 add 1 and 1 is 6, plus this 1 gives us 7, and 8 plus 2 gives us 10. So what we have here, the result of adding these three multiplication results together below, is the answer to the original sum we had. 423 multiplied by 254. So that's how we can use long multiplication to multiply a three-digit number by another three-digit number.